It's 940. I'm calling COD 2011-00147, which is a matter with multiple citations. I called this case on June 17th. Um, uh, the defendants in this matter are Audrey Cantor, uh, Daisy Conkin, Frank Cantor, and Billy McBride. On the 7th of uh, June, uh, Mr. McBride and Ms. Conkin were present and entered pleas of not guilty. None of the other parties, uh, the defendants, appeared. Uh, it was continued to this date uh, for the purpose of allowing the county additional time to secure witnesses, as I recall. And so I am prepared to proceed. Uh, so uh, I first of all would like an understanding from the county how you want to proceed, because we have multiple defendants, uh, each cited separately. Some, I believe, I don't recall, but I believe for the same violations, some for separate violations. So there is a fair amount of procedural uh, uncertainty here. So Officer Walker, why don't you state your appearance and I'll swear you in and uh, we'll unravel this. <clears throat> Officer Dean Walker with Jackson County Code Enforcement. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're going to provide is the truth and the whole truth? I do. Okay, so what I see here, all under the same case name, case title, case number, is a citation against Daisy Conkin and William McBride, both of whom are present in the hearing room, uh, alleging there's one citation identified as citation number one, and it alleges violations of 1864.06, the accumulation of solid waste, violation of Land Development uh, Ordinance 6.4.4 C and D, the operation of a home occupation without a permit, and a violation of Land Development Ordinance 4.2-1, which is the operation of scrap sales business in a zone where it is not permitted. That's one citation under this case number. Um, there is a citation uh, against Audrey Cantor, same property address, uh, for a violation of Jackson County Code 1420.04, which is the construction of a bedroom in a garage uh, without permits. That is a two-count citation. There is a citation against Frank Cantor, same address, uh, for the same violations as are alleged against Mr. McBride and uh, Ms. Conkin, which is the accumulation of solid waste, the operation of a scrap sales business, and the uh, operation of a home occupation without a permit. And there is a citation against well there's a duplicate citation uh, it's in a file which bears just Mr. McBride's name and it is for the same three violations that I have already described as being alleged against Frank Cantor and Miss Conkin so Let's parse this one out, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Officer Walker and uh, Ms. Conkin and Mr. McBride. You are welcome to come forward. You should participate in this process as well. So let me get you on record before we go much farther. Good morning, uh, Ms. Conkin. Can you state your name and address for the file, please? Daisy Conkin, 4175 Payne Road. And you have already entered a plea of not guilty, which I have accepted. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're going to provide is the truth and the whole truth? Yes, sir. And Mr. McBride, may I have your name and address for the record, please? Billy McBride, 4175 Payne Road. In wherever it is, where are we, Central Point? Medford. Medford. And do you swear or affirm the testimony you're going to provide is the truth and the whole truth? Yes. 
All right, Officer uh, Walker, let's figure our way through this, please. Uh, <clears throat> well, ideally, we would have had all four of the parties here today. Um, obviously, we have only two of the four. Um, and so the county is ready to proceed, uh, cover all the ground needed to um, detail, uh, respond to first whatever the plea is from the two that are here, and then provide uh, the, our case as needed for any of the cases that um, will start, of course, with the ones that are appropriate to the people that are here. And it seems appropriate to then cover any ground necessary for the two that are not here to uh, be able to provide uh, you as much information as you need to be able to decide. Do you, uh, what I'm not clear on what, is whether you're proposing to proceed <coughs> individually with each case, with each under each citation, or you want to proceed uh, uh, with uh, Mr. McBride and Ms. Conkin individually and the other two individually? You need to help me figure that out. And, you sure. both have an opportunity to state your preferences sure. for that. Well, <clears throat> uh, it's the county's assertion that um, this is a, a very complicated case and one that um, in an ideal world, each case would be done separately, each would be decided separately, each would then have its own particular um, fines if those are appropriate and so on. Uh, my sense is that every one of the citations that was issued uh, implies uh, the, the county will uh, intends to show you that there's a tremendous amount of information that implies while yes Mrs. Cantor is first and foremost the property owner and so uh, overall responsible for the activity on her property that um, believe that the county will be able to provide a tremendous amount of evidence that uh, points to the fact that Mrs. Cantor is uh, not only not the person that has made these particular violations happen, but uh, is actually incapable of, of uh, doing these particular activities. So it would be left to the other three. So say the last sentence again. So what, what was the conclusion you just drew? that the, uh, if there are fines, if there are penalties, if there are things to be cleaned up or remedied, that they, that those, um, ideally those fines and remedies and so on would be primarily the responsibility of the other three people that are named in this case, not, uh, not primarily um, Mrs. Cantor, not that she would not be guilty, but that the um, the remedies would be in the hands of the other three. Well, that's uh, that's all can get worked out toward the end. But I'm still not clear. How do you want to proceed? Do you want to proceed first with Mr. McBride or Ms. Conkin, and then with the other, and then with each of the others? Do you want to consolidate these cases? It's, it's my uh, suggestion that this is all of a piece, that it's very difficult to tell one of these stories without really just telling the entire story. And all of the violations fit intricately within that. Uh, it's, it would be very, very difficult to try and uh, isolate one citation or one instance without putting it in the context. So basically, you want to proceed of a piece. Yes. Uh, the county wants to proceed against all defendants simultaneously. Exactly. Um, so let me ask you, Ms. Conkin, first, uh, do you have any objection to that? No. No? How about you, Mr. McBride? Um, <clears throat> we want a continuance. Um, <laughs> Why is that? Um, we have a letter here from Audrey's audiologist um, stating that it's in her best interest that all communication be in written form, which I can present to you. Um, and then also I have some questions I would like to have answered about the nature and cause of these proceedings before we can actually prepare our defense. And I tried to get them answered yesterday, but Lily was not able to get back to me. I left her a voicemail. Um, and then also I had requested transcripts and documents.